And the real stream starts right now. Oh, but this is nice though, because you get to see the beginning of the game. Although this game is completely non-linear, like non-linear editing. This will be a weird experience for me, having played this for three hours. All right, again, chat, please, if you missed it before, look at this content warning. There's cursing, blasphemy against the Catholic faith, sudden and surprising visual cuts, alcohol, cigarettes, drug abuse, abusive relationships, nudity, sex, blood and wounding, suicide, sexual assault, murder, etc. I have not finished the game on my playthrough. There's some wild stuff in this game, chatty poo babies. This is the film grid. Hi, Kevin. This shouldn't violate the TOS because the sex isn't the point of the game. It is finished, right? Yeah, it's finished. Yeah. If you don't know, it's a bit of a fairy tale. So Arthur Fisher, the great director, who... Okay, so they haven't... I have to watch this because they haven't taught me how to do stuff yet. ...was casting for his new movie, Ambrosio. And so instead of casting a recognizable face, he, uh, he wanted to find some fresh talent. So he put the word out and saw... How many was it? Uh, 10,000? I think it was over 20,000. 20,000. He saw 20,000 girls. And long story short, he picked you. Yes. And you'd never acted before. Uh, not on the screen. I had uh, done modeling and I liked theater. That is amazing. It's not, uh, Bruno, it's not like constantly insane. Yeah, so it's mostly just people talking and well, I don't want to spoil things walking much. around. As oh, game audio is low? Okay. Marissa Marcel as Matilda, a woman disguised as a young monk. Here we go. We're playing it on the Xbox. That night, I performed a rite. Summoned a fallen angel to aid me. Fresh save, yep. <laughs> well, Mr. Fisher was quite the teacher. So now you can uh, pause it. And this is a cool feature that we don't have in editing. Well, we kind of have it in editing. It's called match cut, but it doesn't work this way exactly. Uh, so you could like look at an interesting item like this coffee cup or Marissa or this host. In my first playthrough, I clicked on this host. So let's click on something else. There's a microphone that could get us somewhere. This is ficus or whatever. And it'll take you to another scene that has a microphone or a plant or this guy, or a coffee cup, you know? Microphone seems interesting. Once I'm able to, I had a feeling it would do this scene, actually. So this is from a different one of her movies. This is rehearsal for a different movie called There's Two of Everything. The one that she did in 99. Also, I recommend headphones for this game. The game also recommends headphones. Let me see if I can... I've turned it up as loud as I can now, Chatty Poo. Hey, are you okay? It 
it's a solid gold microphone, so there's that. Scene 82 through 83, rehearsal. That seems louder. All right, let's just go for this. I'll follow your lead. Then we'll run it with Randy to see how to tackle the fight. All right, just take it nice and slow, and we'll break it down from there. I don't know how much I should explain because I know what's going on here, sure like in the story of this movie. But I don't know if you want to know. Bedroom suite. It's dark. Bye, Sarah Knight. Andrew hits a light, subdued lighting. Bedroom hasn't been touched from when Heather stayed there and looks like a crime scene. Broken glass and bed sheets. This is where she was staying. I told him to leave it, so it's exactly the way it was when Maria died. It's a new art piece for my collection. I call it the end of celebrity. Need another drink. Something stronger. Why are you showing this to me? Said you wanted to feel dark energy. This just feels sad. Yes, well, Maria had a sad life. What makes you say that? So the plot of this movie, from what I've gathered, is you make a lot of money. there's a famous Somebody's singer named Maria and a person she finds to and like be her double, just, and they look like indistinguishable from each other. I'm sure she thought of herself uh, some kind of artist, but and that's kind of what it's about. Famous. Wait, Sony acquired from Z is that real? Is that real? Is that real? They didn't? Okay. A bigger stake. Still, not nothing. Tencent and Sony collectively acquire 30% of Elden Ring developer from software. Well, that's news. That's cool. Take off your clothes. I thought I remembered there being something in this scene like that. that. You take off your clothes. Now. You killed her? Bitch. Oh, I haven't seen this shot, this clip. Cut. So if I if I click the stick, it goes to the front of the clip. The left stick, it goes to the start of the clip. Right stick, it goes to the end of the clip. Scene 27, golf, take two. Action. Oh, and if anyone bangs on the door at night, scare them off with this. Oh, I've seen the rehearsal for that scene. That's funny. Cut. I wonder if I can get to this movie, but oh no. Nothing else in this shot I can click on. You could kill someone with it and they could This is it. the Heather. <laughs> I'm my dad's only child. He taught me to never point a gun at someone unless you're prepared to use it. It's not that rough a neighborhood, I'm just messing with no. you. <laughs> Uh, there's a church across the street that starts up every Friday night, but the music is great. Oh, and the donuts next door. So this is the Maria version telling her double, but this is the stand-in for rehearsal. Sounds really good, actually. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go then. Okay. <laughs> Promise you'll still be my double when you get back? You're not gonna quit when you get rich? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a taste for it. Bump you off. I'll be the real Maria. You don't have it in you to kill. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We hold on Heather's face as she walks down her balcony, walks towards the stairs. Her smile grows with her confidence. That's great, Naomi. Now let's swap places. 
UV header, Marissa UV. Maria. Uh, can I quickly watch back what just versa, did? I just whatever. wanna make sure I lock how you did it in my head. Sure. So like I could click on her to see, I wonder if you can click on this ladder. Oh my God, you can. <laughs> this I have not seen. Man, I'm gonna have to redo all this when I <laughs> get on my It wasn't an accident. Cut. Bring the billboard back up and we'll go again. Reset the billboard. People have all wondered what it is to mourn yourself. Go beyond death and look back at existence as a stage. Z59 Alpha, take one. <laughs> the board guy's like, why are you guys running Go on the billboard. Okay, let's break here. Scene All the waves are so bad. <laughs> okay, we've seen Maria skip the line and get admitted to the club. We cut inside and see Andrew and Isabella in the VIP booth. I don't know how many entourage. clips there are. There are a lot. Isabella whispers something to They Andrew, say that there are... They both laugh as a I don't know if there are three full the movies train. worth of assembly. Now out of the corner of your eye. Or Andrew to assemble, like footage, but... I see Maria. They say there are three full movies that are, or there are three movies she did She's that were never released. We truly see her now. She looks like a goddess. And she dances. Very excited to find the weird thing on stream to show you. It's from the 60s. Maria exits onto the street. We think it didn't work. Oh, did they swap while dancing? Then the limo pulls up. Okay, let's break here. Do you love it? It's my natural color. I like it. I love it. Too much hair is like you're dragging your past around with you. When I look at someone, I like to see their skull. It's fucking weird. You're weird. I will now interview the hot new director, John Jurek. Hi. John, what is your process? How do you visualize a movie before you shoot? Mm, trying to visualize less, actually. 
I want to set up the ideas and characters and then shoot them like a documentary. I want to capture something alive. You know? <laughs> Such a director. Now we can shoot on location, we can shoot for here. You sleep with all your actresses? His rule, yes. An artist should be familiar with his material. Well, then you should fuck Carl, too. <laughs> Otherwise, you're as bad as Minsky. We all know what happens to Minsky. Okay. Enough with the camera. I'm <laughs> jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they call him Drella? Hmm. Dracula? Isn't that perfect? <laughs> Dracula and Cinderella. Frankie Santora sounds like a drag act or a gangster. Maybe you should try Club 88. This I haven't seen. Scene 26, Bravo, take eight. Can you give us a clean safety? This puts it, we'll cut it on the phone. It's good. Yeah, we're test. The game does not really explain what you're supposed to be doing exactly. You're um, going through the footage to try to figure out what happened to Marissa Marcel, the actor. Her. The game mentions pretty early on that you... Uh, That asshole off. director guy says that the movie didn't come out. Some mm -hmm. other actor kind of like died or something on screen, was injured, I think. It's worth doing it right, right, John? And then she kind of went into hiding. He said, the, the talk show host says like that she's a recluse, and he goes, I don't know about recluse. Whoa. Here's the weird thing, chat. This is new. I've never seen this. Okay, I get it. Oh, this is going to be a hard one. So there's this thing that happens. Oh. Whoa. Oh. So if you go down on the controls, you like go into a different reality of film and there's this entity. Would you like to meet me? This is a horror game, chat. Uh, it gets weird. That was a weird one, too. And also, they're backwards. So when you hear that noise, you have to try to get... So now that's the real footage. I don't know how they do some of them, where it's like... The... Transitions are very seamless. Location scout, station so that's what I've been doing in my game. My playthrough is like just trying to find all these weird, like, sub reality, like, entity footage. 
There's two of them. Then he takes out a lighter. I don't know what that female feminine one is called, but she refers to the masculine looking one as the other one, and it's capitalized? Fucking weird stuff. <laughs> it's weird stuff. Uncertain, guilty, almost childlike. He burns the evidence. Silhouetted against the cityscape. He waits until the flame consumes the paper. No, they're not even near. Finger. And finger and mouth to assuage the burn. He heads back into the building. You're not as handsome as Carl, but it works. I like it. Oh my god, they are right here. Yeah. Hang on, I'll be right back. Isla, right? All right, chat. Will there be cheese? Will there be cheese? Let's get another clip going. Star before she came in town. Uh, just being nice. That's good to hear. Who the hell's that guy? <laughs> You're being so macho with each other. Why don't you just make it? There is nothing more cinematic than a No kid. cheese. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> okay, no. And I thought you liked blue movies. Alright, we gotta definitely... Oh, hey Natalie Watson! There seems to be an error with uh, Steam Cloud Sync. When I played it on my Steam Deck and then switched to the computer, it wouldn't load the save. But I love this game. <laughs> because I played it for like four hours or something on my Steam Deck. Oh, this room gets weird. Well, someone didn't waste too much time. Scene 22B, take one. <laughs> Action. Two of the movies are in the 70s, and one of them is on. You heard already? Someone didn't um, waste too much time. Since these bodies still it's warm. okay. Oh, sorry. We're the wrong way around. Keep rolling from the top. Chat, the devs are looking into our little problem already. That's awesome. Thank you. Seriously, I love this game. I've been devouring it. Really? Well, someone didn't waste too much time. This his body is still warm. You look different, detective. Did you lose your virginity? Detective Goodman thinks that Minsky's ex is in town. Olga Rachnoff? And here's me thinking this is social cop. Is he still a cop? I think so. Have you seen Olga? I saw her at the Minsky show. She was wearing some special earrings. Minsky originals. She's Minsky's type. Eastern European beauty queens with nice tits. No offense, Franny. I think I've seen her around. Uh, I've seen her in 88. She sits at the bar and eyeballs everyone coming in. 
88. Oh, you're gonna like this. Ah, oh, that line. 88. Oh. Is it me or is it the line? Oh, 88. Do we need it? How did I see it in the reeds? We can just pick this up in the close up, right, John? Yeah. Marissa, cut. I'm Eddie. I remember one in this. I'm photogenic on account this, of my uh, footage. Brown. Right. I'm excited to see Doug the Simon. Seeing him in a loincloth fighting gladiators. Yep, here comes a one. Big artistic influence on me growing up. And I'm Debbie. <laughs> you didn't wait your turn. I thought you were done. You're, you're done. Debbie, tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm from a Did very well-to-do family back in France. Was it the party of l'Ancien Régime? Ah, ma famille est en Paris. Yeah, there it is. This was the first one I ever figured out. Loincloth, fighting glad. Fighting glad. Do you know any artists that aren't disgusting? That's both of Stay them. Away. Do you know any artists that aren't disgusting? Stay away. But then what's crazy is you click on them thinking, oh, it'll take me to another thing of the other one. But it, no. or like they are, like if you click on the female one, it usually goes to Marissa. I started thinking there was something weird up because there's like that low rumbling sound. And then one time I was, I just, in that clip, the previous clip, I just happened to move it backward. And then I thought I saw people behind the people, and I was like, what? I'm sort of, it, it's kind of a bummer to stream this to, like, rob you of that discovery, but, like, I don't know. It was nuts. <laughs> but I've been playing for, like, a half hour or something before I figured out, and then I... I didn't figure out exactly how to get into it until a clip or two later. John. Yes. No. Interesting. So he started kissing on that guy. What's cool with the weird other things is this clicking this takes you to the end of that because they like play backwards in time. It's so weird. Let's find cigarettes. Okay, we're back here again. It's weird, on my playthrough, my first bunch of footage was in the, like, old-timey Catholic movie Ambrosio. Whatever. Here we go, chat. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Cover your eyes. You saw the again. You think it's a You got enough. We're done with this shot. No one is gonna care whether or not I have briefs on. They're too busy looking at Marissa cavorting around. Who is the shot, Douglas? You lie there, I'll direct. We're done. We're going again. No, I think not. Never in my career have I been expected to work like this. You, sir, you're not a director. You're a fucking pervert with a camera. Whoa.
We need a new Minsky. But I have an idea. Okay. My name is John Durick. I'm six foot three, 42 years old, and I will be auditioning for the role of Minsky. <laughs> Let's get that mask. Do you plan to have children? Maybe. Scene 35. So this is a different movie. That was Minsky. This is two of everything. So I think Minsky and Ambrosio were the ones she did in the 70s, and two of everything is the one she did in the 90s or something. It's a fertility mask from Tanzania. If you touch it, you'll be abundant. <laughs> Do you plan to have children? Maybe. I guess I'd have to put some money aside, find the right guy. Ambrosio was 68, Minsky was 70. Andrew cool. was surprised you said yes. He was convinced something like this would be beneath you. Oh, well. There's no shame in doing something for the money. Michelangelo worked on commission. That would make Mr. Hessenberg the Pope. <laughs> Andrew is How much pope. total film, like, no footage Michael is in the game? No idea. I mean that Probably a problem. lot. All of Michelangelo's women look like men with tits stuck on them. <laughs> oh, bye, Natalie. Didn't see that she left. So far, I have seen more nudity in this stream than I've seen while playing it for four and a half, for three and a half hours. <laughs> Any ideas how many wigs there are in the game? Yeah, good call. <clears throat> Can't go on the Doc Martens. Cut. Now we're back in Minsky. Take four. Yeah, there's nudity. We'll keep running this until we've knocked the charisma out of you, Carl. The thing is as handsome as you are, but less aware of it. Action. All done? A couple hundred pages left. All that reading, you'll go blind. I personally believe you learn more psychology in a week working tables than you do reading a textbook. Deviant psychology, though? This is New York. Go to wager. Another game. Next customer walks in. We both write down which table they're gonna pick. Deal. Where you get your shirts? They're nice. Kensington Taylor's on 12th Street. I pick some up for my brother. They're expensive. That's okay. My brother's more of a tracksuit and this kind of guy. Oh, hey, Tony. I got a table for you right over here. Yep, right here. <laughs> I'll get you some coffee. She influenced the bet. You don't have feelings. All spare and level walk. You're the deviant. Ugh. Anyhow, I don't date cops. Ring, ring. Hey, good man. I'll <clears throat> call for you. Precinct. Cut. Okay. <laughs> hey, you need some change? Buy your brother a shirt. Show me that watch. Oh, okay. We got this guy already. Actually, we didn't click on this guy. Scene 16, Alpha, take four.
Maria? Uh, I, I need you to come down here. What? I know, I know it wasn't. I, I know. She's she's They're ripped. Me to swim. I didn't realize, Maria, I can't swim. What? I can't. I, I never learned. I'm sorry. We didn't have a pool in landlocked Iowa. So this is the double, and she can't swim, which becomes important. I'm sorry. Uh, how do I do that? You're in your trailer? Yeah. Lock yourself in. We need to come out. Have a fit. Uh, fit? You see me in action. Try to give me the light and blow it out of your Like what? Wait, Maria, like what? Maria, they're waiting for you on set. Uh, I'm not coming out! Until you bring me some new apples! Top ten insufficiently round apples. A deadly combination with alcohol in late night swim. The NYPD have refused to confirm the presence of drugs, stating they are unable to disclose the details of an ongoing investigation. Her body will be flown back to Los Angeles later today, where we'll head to the county coroner's office for an autopsy. If you're just tuning in, reporting on the death of pop star Maria at the age of 25. We'll continue our coverage with Dr. Morty Biggs, Gary, it's if this had an eye tracker, you know where I'd be looking? Where would I be looking? I know. I was looking at my fries because I've seen Gary, this clip. <laughs> Okay, this is Ambrosia. And this dream she's spoken of adds form to a plan of... Scene 48, Riesa. Hey, Arthur. This will be the accident of the day, okay? <laughs> yeah. Where are you headed? Who's a weird square I'm apple. Go with Antonio. The responsibility to soften her suffering. She's ill. She dreams of visions of her own death. Her concern is touching. No, I'm no prostitute. Besides, I'm a poor substitution for Antonia's unbroken purity. Was she holding a spell was wasted? Need thing? I now have no claim to Antonia. There is a way. Oh. Her grief and this dream she's spoken of adds form to a plan I have considered a while. In three days, she will be dead to the world, but she will live for you. More magic. This herbal mixture, oh. the secret of the prioress, produces in its drinker the appearance of death. Administer a few drops to Antonia. She will be thrown into strong convulsions after which her blood will cease to flow. She will appear as if a corpse. Having no family, this you may appoint yourself piece. the superintendent of her funeral. Have her buried in the vault of St. Clair. Your isolation and remoteness This is a rehearsal, is yeah. To you. Give but it a it's like the evening. late 60s. And 48 hours after life but this movie takes place. She will wake in your I don't know, like the 1300s or something? Necessity will bend her to your affection. I live to serve you. Less subservient. I live to serve you. Like this. I live to serve you. I live to serve you. <laughs> Don't give a line read.
So link to that bottle. <laughs> Scene 14, 15, Charlie, take seven. Paper should definitely like play this. Fun. This must be some bills. Look what you made me do. Oh, you damn cat. You hungry? Too many divas in my life. Waters. I told Minsky I did, but I kept them. I wanted to preserve her voice for posterity. She loved him. She begged him to take her back. But she also remembered the bad stuff. She gave a necklace he made her as a gift to a friend. He was so angry he put a cigarette out in her face. Well, if you look in his green portrait 32, you can see the bird mark. Painted it in. I wonder if you get all the footage at the all end, if you can like watch the, the movies in order. In the same way That'd be a fun feature. He used his paintings to pure form. He broke his girls down until they were the forms he wanted. But when he's done with you, you have nothing left. The rest of the world is just negative space. This is also such an interesting idea for a game because it's like, I've played this game for hours and I haven't seen this clip. But I've seen like all kinds of stuff from Minsky and the other two, you know? Rut row. You're slowly, tenderly make love. Sitting up in the glow of the heater. I like that shirt. <laughs> She's got a cool shirt. Okay. It's like a graveyard on it or Let's something? Let's explore it for conversation. Marissa, how would you all call to touch you this week? You should kiss my neck and shoulders, then pull my hair. Carl. With that wig? How would you want Marissa to touch you? Uh, <laughs> this is all good. I mean, uh, let me think about it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think this they get naked during rehearsal. He stops, sees Olga in the window across the street, looking directly in the studio. Goodman is dumbstruck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to react. Now yeah, we cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he pulls that hair, it's going bye-bye. So? a chemistry test, Mr. Greenwood. <clears throat> so, this is a chemistry test, Mr. 
I like that shirt too. She's got great Usually clothes. When I do a chemistry test to see if Is that her real hair for once? <laughs> I'm feeling the pressure. You can relax. You're clearly very handsome and charismatic. Thank you. Do you think you can find a connection to the character? IMDb has all three movies as separate films yeah, listed. Sure. That's amazing. I guess Tribeca Film Festival, like... Well, Goodman is the one being... Uh, has this game as a submission, too? Look, I can, I can ask. I wanted to do this picture because I wanted to do something a little different. I feel like if I don't show the other side, <coughs> I think with the whole studio setup, it's on the way out. Right, Wait, please. what? You should take it Goodman is the one being seduced, but I guess you are more familiar with the role of the seducer. Look, I, c I can act. I wanted to do I meant it. <laughs> what do you think about New York? Oh, it's a dark kind of place, isn't it? Look, I'm a California boy through and through. And I know there's an after dark kind of thing you can point to there, but um, New York, it's a scary place. Driving him from the airport, I felt like I was descending into hell. It's, I haven't figured this <laughs> guy out yet, because they call him Carl, but I think Carl Goodman is the right, actor, or the character's name, too? You could. And I like getting to know you. So does this mean? Why did you agree to come out here and meet? Well, to be honest, I heard Mr. Dirk here is hot shit, and Douglas Simons has signed up. I see there's something happening here, but mostly I said yes, because you were a part of this. I think you're going to be a huge deal, Miss Marcel. Do you know how to kiss Mr. Greenwood? So Greenwood's got to be his real name. So I think something happens to this guy, like there's an accident or something. With the gum? I think there is Kevin Street here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> I feel like I just went through four years of film school and acting school and just life in a few months. What a team. Arthur, you were harsh but fair. For everything you put me through, I learned Arthur. a lot. And your karma is having to spend the next six months staring at footage of me while I sleep it off. I hope you see something you like in there. Everyone, a big round of applause to our star, our gorgeous, la bellissima Marissa Marcel. <laughs> I love you all, and I'm here only to say that I pay for the bar for the next hour. It is rare that I'm this generous. So please, have a drink and toast to our new friends, to movies. To the movies! <laughs> Cheers. These gorgeous lines are attentive and pure. Track two. So I think that's the director of Ambrosio. And the director of photography was directing Minsky. Straps to the door, his face concealed by a cloak. The door opens. Antonio stands there. Father. He removes his food. Is it possible? You've broken your vow to soften my mother's agonies. I was moved by your devotion to your mother and by how attentive you are to my sermons. Is your mother awake? Yes. Come in. He had that. Interior, the keeper's arms. Avara's room. Ambrosio and Antonia enter. Avara lies on her bed. She's weak. Mother, your confessor is here. Father Ambrosio. It is him. Thank you, Antonia. You may leave. I will minister to your mother's soul. Of course. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Interior, Jacinta's house. Cut door. Antonia shuts the door behind her. She's thrilled to have Ambrosio in her house. Ambrosio doesn't usually leave the church, I gather, from a different scene. I to the keel, watches. Ambrosio's hands on face as he listens to Avara confess our sins. His gorgeous eyes are attentive and pure. Track two, interior. Jacinta's out. Carado. 
Antonio watches, and the rapture. He starts when Ambrosio is finished, stands and quickly, silently walks to her door, opens it, and enters her room. Arthur, what's Ambrosio thinking here? This is his first time ever leaving the Abbey. Am I just following my libido? Am I intending to seduce Antonia? <laughs> Don't worry too much about that. <sighs> Keep your face blank so the audience can project onto it. You are their vessel. They will see you looking, and then we will cut to what you are looking at. <laughs> Through you, they will see. You will be looking for them, so use your eyes. Very montage. Sophia, Isa, your job is to be looked at. <laughs> Let us try. Spoken to Antonia. Sweet innocence. Now look at Matilda. Pure carnality. You see, you will desire what the audience desires. The more you let them use you, the more brilliant they will think you're acting. <laughs> you don't need to film this. I was going to say, this is an expensive thing to do in the 60s, recording the rehearsal like that. Hanging plant. <laughs> don't sleep. Oh. Tail slate means you're slating at the end of the shot. So this is the end. Action. Usually you do it like this is an insert of this snake, clearly. <laughs> Scene eight, box draw, take two. Snake looking suspicious. <laughs> yeah, there is some weird stuff with the snake, actually. It's funny that it match cut in a good way. Like, I wonder if they specified in programming. Like, if you click on the snake, start at this part. I mean, they had to have done that, but. Cut. Oh, I've seen this one. Scene eight, alpha, take three. Okay, good mark. Your eyes are on Maria. She's blurred. stupid to pick a double who's a worse singer than me, right? Smart. Maybe I should get a fake you. One that's more respectful. Impossible. One of a kind. Babe, I could find ten more of you without even leaving the zip code. <laughs> Scene 30, rehearsal. Heather, as Maria walks with her roller bag through a throng of paparazzi and adoring fans, bouncers clear the way to a secure door, which takes her to the airside counter. Then after a beat, we notice Mark. Mark? Hey, baby. Uh, are you coming with me? No, I just wanted to see you off. Gary got me in. I'll miss you. Oh, I'll only be gone three days. Too long. Damn. I could just eat you up. Now give me a kiss. How does this work with a double if, like, morally? <laughs> like, what if he, there's, like, an intimate situation? Wow. Oh, I was gonna save that for the cameras. <laughs> I should go. I don't want to miss my flight. No way. Of course. Safe flight. Bye, Mark. Avenue. I read for scene one through nine. I'll just go straight. Controller was going crazy there for a second. I read for scene one through nine. I'll just go straight through. Over black. 
Final check in 20. Group three to the stage. Move your asses. Interior, backstage corridor, MBA awards. Harry producer opens door into an empty dressing room. Fuck. Closes it. Paper on door reads, Maria. Back into the corridor and jogs. Stage manager going the other direction, followed by backing dancers and crew. Producer's walkie spits in his ear as he fights through the crowd. This is the biggest night of your life, so I hope you took your vitamins. The entire motherfucking world is watching. Backing singers in bright colors harmonize as they shuffle past. It's the motherfucking music video awards. The producer sees a production <laughs> assistant suit, who he recognizes. Motions her over. Maria is MIA. She needs to be mic'd and ready. Go check the second floor, quick. Wheels up in 20. On it. Jogs off. Fuck. Exterior, Hollywood Hills Mansion, pool, same. The sparkling swimming pool of a luxury Hollywood estate. It's lit up for a party, but only one person is there. Mark, 25, an underwear model type. He lounges at the poolside, eyes closed. Bare feet and long legs step up to the poolside. Mark opens his eyes. Nice. Ready for the show? Hell yes. Inside the show? Can't we just tape it? Are you kidding? I want to watch live. Kicks him off into the pool with a splash. Interior, video music awards, hallway, same. Our production assistant crashes through a stairwell door. Spins her head, can't decide on a direction. Walkie spits. Sue. She answers. Go. Ryan says they switch rooms last minute. She's in room 25. She juggles her clipboard, scans it. West B, on the other side of the freaking world. On it. Better run. Wheels up in five. The assistant spins Wheels up in five. Shit, shit, shit. Crashes back through the stairwell door. Exterior, Hollywood Hills Mansion. Pool, same. Maria and Mark splash up out of the water. Laugh, kiss, Maria breaks off. Okay, we need to go inside now. One more kiss. I need to dry my hair. I'm the star of the show. She smoothly dives, glides to the ladder, climbs out, Venus emerging from the pool's mirrored surface. At the top, glances over her shoulder. Chop, chop. Interior, music video awards, West dressing room, same. The back of a woman's head, the same long honey hair as Maria. She's in an intense costume. A male makeup artist touches up her makeup. A heavy knock at the door. It opens to reveal the PA, out of breath. I'm sorry, Maria? The head doesn't turn, but the makeup artist rolls their eyes. Excuse me? Society made doors for a reason. <laughs> okay, but Maria's needed on stage, yeah, and we... Well, you maybe should have thought of that before you put us in the round mirror room. Sorry, the what? The last room had round mirrors. Round mirror, round face. Maria only works with square mirrors. He gives the woman's shoulder a squeeze, and she turns. The face looks just like Maria, but not. This is Heather, Maria's double. Heather smiles apologetically before the makeup artist turns her chin back towards him. Fuckers. You're not going out there until you look like you blew a hoover. There you go. See you love it. Heather looks at her ultra glam reflection in the mirror, smiles. The poppy strain so the M hits on M to the music video was supposed to be how this movie starts, Interior, I guess? Hollywood Hills Mansion, living room, moments later. Mark calls up the stairs, popcorn bowl in hand. Ooh. It's starting. I'm coming. I'm coming. Maria comes running down the stairs, now sporting a black. Doesn't even go wig. to her own awards she gives Mark show. A kiss at the bottom of the stairs. He ruffles her wig, smirking. Why the wig? I'm incognito tonight. Wouldn't want anyone to recognize me. She leads the way to the couch and plops down, gesturing for him to sit with her as the sounds of two of us rise. Oh my God! Here we go. <sighs> Interior MVA stage. A spot highlights a bare point on the stage. Other lights hit the point and overlap, turn. Create the image of a rose petals on overlaid, turning slowly. The lights move apart, and the rose flower unfurls. Then, a spray of petals and smoke, and Heather stands in the center of the flower. Crowd applause. She smiles. Hair hangs in the air. The music cuts. Applause. The director guy's doing a good job at acting like a director. Like he's thinking about other stuff. Dancers appear out of nowhere, fall in step. The two of us, we should have known better. Two of us could be so much better. Interior, Hollywood Hills Mansion, living room. Moments later, song continues on TV. You look hot. Don't you dare. You have the real thing right here. Sure. Never seen Heather naked, though. So this is the scene from the movie that we saw earlier. Should I ask? Really? Play flat thin. Pervert? You can't even tell us apart. You can't, too. See this? Insert on TV. Heather and her dancers nail a complex dance routine. Heather hitting a high note as she goes. You and I were meant to get along, but I want to cry when we get it wrong. You and I on the edge of it all. Hold me close, baby, when we start to fall. Back to scene. There was no high note. <laughs> Definitely Heather. Never hit that note live. 
She turns to him, amused. Fuck you! I'd have to be stupid to pick a double who was a worse singer than me, right? Smart. I should get a fake you, one that's more respectful. Impossible and one of a kind. Babe, I could find ten I more hate it when people call each other babe. <laughs> you are sweet, though, and it would be time-consuming to house Bad. with another, so stick around. I love it when you demean me. They kiss passionately. Maria peeks at the TV as applause breaks out. Insert on TV. Fans scream from the audience, holding up signs. We love you, Maria. Queen Maria, etc. On stage, Heather soaks it up. Her eyes shine, elated by the crowd. I love you all! Interior, Hollywood Hills Mansion. Bedroom, morning. Heather's voice echoes over Maria waking up hungover in the lavish master bedroom of her home. She looks to Mark snoring beside her in the disheveled bedside table covered in booze and pills. Groaning, she gets out of bed. What? There we go, baby. That's what we're after. Yeah, the director's not there. That's weird. Stage. Move your asses. Interior, backstage corridor, NBA awards. Harry producer opens door into an empty dressing room. Fuck. Closes it. Paper on door reads Maria. Back into the corridor and jogs. Stage manager going the other direction, followed by backing dancers and crew. Producer's walkie spits in his ears. He fights through the crowd. This is the biggest night of your life, so I hope you took your vitamins. The entire motherfucking world is watching. Backing singers in bright colors harmonize as they shuffle past. It's the motherfucking music video awards. Producer sees a production assistant, Sue, he recognizes. Motions her over. Maria is MIA. She needs to be mic'd and ready. Go check the second floor. Quick. Wheels up in 20. On it. Jogs off. Fuck. Her hair is Next very team, shiny, the other version. Pool, same. The sparkling swimming pool of the palatial Hollywood estate. This one's That's interesting. It's just the one same otherwise. Mark, 25. Besides no drink. He lounges at the poolside, eyes closed. Bare feet and long legs step up to the poolside over Mark. He opens his eyes. Nice. Ready for the show? Hell yes. Inside the show. Can't we just tape it? I think I want to watch it live. Kicks him off into the pool with a splash. Interior, video music awards, hallway, same. Our production assistant crashes through a stairwell door, spins her head, can't decide on a direction, walkie spits. So I just had a thought. Maybe stop. this right, version so rooms last minute, is like the modern day five. version of her? Clipboard, scans it. a bare point on the stage. Other lights hit the point and overlap, turn, create the image of rose petals overlaid, turning slowly. Dancers appear out of nowhere, fall in step. Two of us, we should have known better. The two of us could be so much better. Interior, Hollywood Hills Mansion, living room, moments later, song continues on TV. You look hot. Don't you dare, you have the real thing right here. Sure, never saw Heather naked though. I'm a fuck. Two Maria's Man, they just room. did the whole thing. Definitely had there. You never hit that. Insert 
on TV. Fans scream from the audience holding up signs. We love you, Maria. She always stares at the camera. I have nothing. Okay. All right, we're gonna take a commercial here. This is one of the earlier clips I saw. Well, I'm excited to see this movie. Oh, you have to tell me what you think. Yeah, it must feel like a, a new start for you. <laughs> can, uh... Can you... Can you... Can you... Can you talk about what happened with your previous movie? Now, I'm sure everyone here has read about this or heard the gossip. Uh, I was making a movie in New York. Your first as director? Yes. Uh, at the time, I'd done quite a bit of work as a director of photography. Uh, this was my first. It would have been a superb movie. <laughs> there was an accident on set. And an actor, Carl Greenwood, was unfortunately injured and later died. After that, we felt it was in everyone's best interest that we stopped the movie. We decided not to finish. And this movie also starred Marissa Marcel. And I gather it put a stop to her career. They say she's become a recluse. I don't want to speak for Marissa, but I think recluse may be inaccurate. Because she didn't choose the court celebrity, I just think that yeah, makes her normal. So I don't really think she disappeared or anything. She just chose a different life. Have you met with Marissa since that movie? I have not. Okay. All right, we're going to take a commercial here, and when we come back, we will have some amazing new music. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're easier to get and sometimes they're... Well, I'm sure you've we read about it or heard the gossip. <laughs> I was making a movie in New York. Your first as director? Yes, I'd done quite a bit of work as uh, director of photography at that point, but this was my first. It would have been a superb movie. Well, there was an accident on set, and uh, one of the actors. Carl Greenwood was unfortunately injured and later died. And after that, we felt it was in everybody's best interest that we stop the movie. So we decided not to finish. This was also a movie that starred Nurse and Marcel, and I gather put a stop to her career. They say she's become a recluse. <laughs> I don't want to speak for Marissa, but I think recluse might be inaccurate. Just because she chose not to court celebrity just makes her normal. I don't think she disappeared or anything. She just uh, chose a different life. Have you uh, met with Marissa since that movie? You have not. Okay. Well, we're going to go to a short commercial here, and when we come back, we're going to have some amazing music. Every time, right at the end, she like looks right at the camera. Well, this creepazoid. Well. I must say, I can now retire from private enterprise after having had happy birthdays. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. You're an absolute angel. Now, I know it's my birthday, but I'd like to give you a gift. <laughs> Whoops. When you look at that microphone, hope you think of me and all of us here tonight. You're worth your weight in gold. Thank you 
so much. Thank you. Mm. Mr. Hasenberg, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's get this party started. <laughs> I paid you ten million dollars for one night. Am I wrong? No. I want to feel like you appreciate me. I mean, be grateful. So he changes I'm going to wait out here all night. It's my birthday. <laughs> That's a different bro now. Has been robbed it's a solid a gold microphone. Do you feel like a new man? I was starting to get used to the happy look. And now the shade. Your fans like you, clean shaven? Mm -hmm. Can I have a go? his throat. We only have the ending, that's not enough. <laughs> Just a nick. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Our Uh, that's an accident. I guess that's how he dies. Thought I saw some weirdness. Or them. Do it. I like that these the music is backwards because you're playing it in reverse to go forward for this stuff for these weird sub clips. It's so I weird. I love it. I chose me. There's another one hidden underneath this one.
So that they see me. She saw that they see me. Damn it! Play it. This one's tricky to get into for some reason. She saw that they cremated me. There we go. She saw that they cremated me. But I didn't die. An infinity of nothing. There's another one hidden in this one? It was her all along? I watched them die on the screen. And I was reborn. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> That's creepy as shit! Whoa! What the fuck was that shot? What the fuck? We gotta try to get back to that. She saw that they came in. Of course, this one's a fucking nightmare. I don't think I just solved it. If I did, I don't understand what I solved. She saw that they see me. She saw that they cremated me. She saw that they cremated me. She saw that they cremated me. Why is this one so hard to get into? She saw that they She saw that they cremated me. She saw that they cremated. 
I got it that other time. So that they couldn't. She saw that they cremated him. 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 God damn it! Get in there! Oh, that felt close. What the fuck's going on here? Get in there. Saw that they there we go. But I didn't die. An infinity of nothing. Them die on the screen. And I was reborn. So I've taken a two page photo spread. coming to the door. And cut. 36 apple, take two. And action. Hold it. So I've taken a two page photo spread. Gotta go get Sophia from the beach here in a second, everybody. I feel 
very sad about what happened to Carl Greenwood. Oh, shit. And I need to go away. Oh, fuck. I don't blame John <sighs> or the crew or anyone else. <sighs> I really wanted this film to be good. But it didn't work out. Sorry, everyone. We've tried to elevate humanity by telling them the greatest story. How much of it do I remember? Actually remember how much has been eroded by the retelling? I remember the pain. Or the performance of it. If what you fear the most is death and pain, we wanted to create the purest image of that. The other one was there. Later they made two Marys, but there was really only one. I remember the time in the cave. So is the but other one like the devil? Past. And she's Jesus or something? She she <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't go anywhere. Sixty-three apple. Take one. And action. Arissa. Life still exists in this miserable frame. But you are too broken to move. Soon the sun will rise to burn you. Myriads of insects will come forth and drink the blood which trickles from your wounds. You will be unable to drive them away. But you will feel their bites and scratches. They will fasten upon your sores and dart their stings into your body. It will be exquisite. The eagles of the rock will then descend to tear your flesh piecemeal. They will dig out your eyeballs with their crooked beaks. Even in this pain, you will thirst. <laughs> this is the person For six that days, you will lay here in agony. On the seventh, a storm will come. The waters will burst the riverbanks and flood this plain. You will drown. And your bloated corpse will be carried downstream as your soul is delivered to me. And cut. Could I kiss his face? 
Would you see that? I'll grab a tissue. Yeah, we didn't see a lot of ambrosia in this playthrough right now. So two of everything is 99. Minsky was 70. After Carl's accident, she disappears for like 30 years almost. 29 years. Crazy. Get on those shout out spots on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Easy allies. Shout outs, we shout out to everybody. Everything producer, you get your name on everything. Beep. Um, thank you all for watching. I'm glad we finally got to um get it to work. We discovered a couple of things I haven't even found in my playthrough. Great. Uh, what do we got coming up here? Everybody's sick. Everybody is sick. Dummy's on a town vacation. Uh, tomorrow, back behind the scenes stream. Blood, who's on the hangout tomorrow? I couldn't remember if it was me or not. Uh, watch the Chia preview. And there's another preview on its way. We also may have put up a review, or maybe that's later. I don't know. All kinds of crap happening. Yeah. Don's doing okay. So we don't know who's doing the hangout tomorrow. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure it out. Wee. Yeah, I asked how he was doing during the stream. He said he was being taken apart bit by bit and reassembled. Thanks, chat. Bye.